when's the doctor coming? Later. So, so when? Well, I don't know exactly. But... Well, I'd better go up and have a look at her. What? She sounds ill, Basil. She is ill. That's why we don't want people going up there and talking to her. I'm not going to talk to her, Basil. I'm going to look at her. Look at... She, she's ill, isn't she? What's the bloody point of looking at her? <laughs> I am a nurse, Basil. Oh, no. I know! I do! I do! I... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that, everyone? All the years I've known old Virginia, she thinks I forgot she's a nurse. You're a marvel, you know? <laughs> Please let me go, Basil. Hmm? I want to look at Sybil. Well, you can't. Why not? Because... because... you've lost weight, haven't you? Isn't that absolutely... Uh, Mr. Porty, hmm? I think you ought to tell them. Oh. Right. About the doctor coming this morning? He came this morning. First thing. Well, why didn't you say? He didn't want to worry you. I didn't want to worry you. <laughs> Is it serious? Well, it might be. Oh, I mean, not, not completely serious, but slightly serious. Oh, poor Basil. It's all right. I'd, I'd just rather we, you know, talk yes. about it. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Basil. Oh, hello. hello, Kitty. Hello. Hello, Roger. Hello, Reg. Hello. Sybil's not here, is she? Uh, no, no. There you are, you see. I told you so. I just saw her in the town. <laughs> what? In her car, in the high street. <laughs> That's another woman. What other woman? That woman who looks slightly like Sybil. You know her, don't you? You, you know? Like Sybil? Well, yeah, yes. She's very, very broad here. She's from the north. Drives a red maxi, does she? Well, her husband does, I think. I expect she borrowed it. Perhaps she stole yours, old boy. It's not out there. It's at the garage, Rog. She looks like Sybil. Yes. And she comes from the north. Well, she has a northern accent. You know, I assume, assume she, she's from the north. Oh, you've spoken to her? Mm-hmm. What's her name? Well, I don't know her name. I mean, I only met her once. What but a fate. I mean... Sorry, Basil. I didn't mean... No, no, of course. Hey, by the way, Basil, where is Sybil? Oh, she's in bed. Oh, oh, dear. Yes, she's really not well. She really mustn't see anybody. Now, what? Not at all? No. Can't we just put our heads around the corner? No, I'm afraid not. She mustn't have any excitement. Oh, Basil. What do you mean, old oh, Basil? Well, we are her oldest friends, old man. I mean, it can only do her good. And we have all come over here to see you both. Well, I'm sorry if you've been put out. I mean, you'll have some drinks, plenty of nuts, see your old friends, have some laughs, but if that isn't good enough, I'll, I'll refund your petrol for you. <laughs> no, steady on, Basil. Well, I'm sorry, but... Of course, we understand. You're a bit upset. Well, you know. Yes, of course. Well, you know us well enough. You should have called it off, waited till she's better. Well, I, I would have done, Rich, but there just wasn't time. Wasn't time? She only began to puff up about an hour ago. Yeah, but you said that the doctor came first thing this morning. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, that was for the throat. The puffing up started after he'd gone, OK? Ah! <laughs> uh, Yes, after you taking notes? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to see her, but Basil, there is something very peculiar about look, all this. Look, no, I'm not standing here while an old friend look, like Sybil. Look, it's, it's perfectly Sybil. Simple's not well. She lost her throat and her voice hurt. The doctor came and said it was a bit serious. Not a lot, a bit. He went away, she started to puff up, he's coming back later this afternoon, and it's best for her to be on her own. Now, what is so peculiar about that? Her driving round in the town. <laughs> What did you say? Uh, no, sorry, just a joke, Bass. Um, can I have another gin, please? Just a joke? What, mm. she's down there in the town driving around? Is that what she Of course it isn't, Basil. No, 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 obviously I've been standing around here making up crackpot stories about my wife being seriously upstairs. Is that it? No, 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 of course not. It was just that it was a bit funny Kitty seeing that northern woman in the car. Funny? Oh, I see. You mean you think that that was Sybil in the car and she's not upstairs, is that it? Oh, I understand. I've got it now. Right. Well, what are we all waiting around here for? Come on, everybody upstairs. <laughs> Come on, all of you. No, Basil. No, no, no. Come on, everyone who thinks I'm a liar. Come no. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hang on. Oh, don't get like that. No. Come and see Sybil. Come on. We don't want to. No, it'd be best to leave her. We'll see her some other time. Yes, when she's feeling better. But, but Roger wants to, no? No, we mustn't disturb her, Basil. No, 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 no. If Roger wants to... He doesn't, Basil. Well, we could just say hello. Oh, Roger! Right, all right, fine. All right, OK, then, fine. No problem, no problem. Suits me, good idea. I'll just uh, pop upstairs and ask her to stop dying, and then you can all come up and identify her. Right, Polly, would you give me a hand? Help yourself to another drink, please. Make yourself at home. Relax. Any more nuts? <laughs>